All right, YouTube and the Auburn fan base. Again, it's Kennard Vernon Stewart here for the podcast. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and also share this with as many, many media outlets as possible. Auburn taking on Penn State in State College, Pennsylvania, Beaver Stadium. This weekend, the locals are going to have uh, everything laid out for the Tigers as far as the whiteout and college football game day hosted by the Home Depot, actually sponsored by the Home Depot, will be in attendance as well. So they're rolling out the red carpet for Auburn. Like the video, comment, and subscribe to Vernon Speak Sports Auburn. As always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger War Eagle. A lot of storylines when you talk about Auburn versus Penn State. Number one, you have Big Ten versus SEC. That's, you know, always a big conversation in and of itself. As it turns out, Auburn and Penn State have never met one another during the regular season. It was always in a bowl game and usually like in the Outback Bowl or something like that. I remember the worst beating, I want to say Penn State, I want to say the year was 1996 when um, Penn State beat up on Auburn pretty good, and then Auburn winning in 2002, I think, in the Music City Bowl, I think. I I didn't do a lot of research on that, but I know they've encountered each other a couple of times, or two or three. But either way, this will be the first time they will face one another regular season and I think this see games like these to me are just so great for college football I mean no matter the outcome of course you got to have a winner you got to have a loser but no matter the outcome the fans win in situations like this to be able to talk trash all week um, you have you know teams from different regions of the country that share a common ground and that's called college football and to have these teams meet and and hear the coaches you know, do commentary on, you know, who they think are the players that stand out. And it's just, it's just such a great deal for college football. And and especially when you have um, two uh, historic programs like Auburn and Penn State, Penn State, obviously uh, the fifth, fifth all time in wins in the NCAA uh, a very, very storied program uh, that was coached for many years by Joe, the late Joe Paterno, um, who had a lot of winning seasons. And his, uh, unfortunately, his career came to a very tragic end, literally. Uh, but that still doesn't take away what Penn State was able to build over the years as a college football program, a blue blood college football program that competes year in and year out uh, among the best of them, including earlier this year, first game of the year, going on the road and taking on a Wisconsin team that has been pretty good as of late and getting a heroic victory up there. I think that says a lot about this particular program and where they could possibly be headed, assuming they're able to pull off a game like this over Auburn. I think Auburn is a very good football team. I think Auburn is very uh, talented on both sides of the ball. Um, I I really like the balance that they've shown so far. So it's going to be a real interesting something's got to give type situation because Auburn, although the competition may not be, um, you know, stellar up to this point, but Auburn has shown some spots that looks like they can make some of this stuff work against more viable competition. Uh, but back to the video at hand, the, the reason for this particular video. I've been, you know, I, I look at the comment section and I am always intrigued by some of the commentary, some commentary more nice than others. Um, but w- what really interested me was, you know, I, I said on a previous video, I don't know if it was the last one or the one before that. I thought, I mean, I I more than think that Bo Nix is going to be a factor in this particular football game. But the general consensus that I see from some of the Auburn fan base is, you know, we're singing the the, the, uh, Tank Bigsby slash Jarquez Hunter song, which is more than fine. 
And then you even had one fan that talked about Bo Nix will be a factor, but maybe in a negative way. I do get what he's saying, but we're not going there tonight. I think Bo Nix is going to be a factor in a major way because his decision making is going to be paramount. And we do know and we don't want to hold someone too accountable for their past. But but Auburn is, is making the trip to a very hostile environment. And mistakes, especially early in the football game, can be detrimental. Auburn is facing a football team in Penn, in Penn State that has forced five-plus turnovers already. And those turnovers were game-changing events uh, for the Penn State Nitt- Nittany Lions. And I do believe in trends. I do believe in trends. And so far in two games, they have not done anything different as far as the turnover department. And one of the most unfortunate things that can happen is in a game like this, emotions are already high. And you place yourself in an adverse position on the road because of turnovers. And let's just face it, Bo Nix, in his very in, in his two year career, now going on three, has been placed in probably the most adverse position possible that a freshman quarterback could face. You one one it seems like one week you're playing for the state championship for the state of Alabama, and then a few months later you're facing Oregon in the Avacare Classic in Dallas, Texas. Kind of a huge jump. Now caveat that with facing Florida, f- facing Georgia, facing Alabama, facing LSU, a really rigor- rigorous schedule. Um, I think, as a matter of fact, LSU went on to win the national championship. So Bo Nix has been on the scene for some of college football's nicest moments here in the last two years. And that's a, a definitely a feather on his cap going into a game like Penn State. What I expect from Bo, so far Bo Nix has shown poise. I have not seen him. There have been some times where he could have done it. Uh, I haven't seen the, uh, the, the, the frantic scrambling. I've seen a much more calm, I've seen a much more confident quarterback. Now, what we want to happen is for that to translate over to the Penn State game to where Bo Nix is in command. Bo Nix can be trusted in third down and medium, third down and eight. You don't want you never want in a game like this to be like a third down and 20, especially on the minus side of the football field. But but I'm looking for I'm really looking forward to seeing Bo Nix's progress crystallize on a, on a really big stage. I mean, a huge stage. This this could be a real. This could be a, a situation where Bo Nix really makes his mark as one of the great quarterbacks in the making at Auburn. Um, and these are the moments that, that that's why you that's why you fill out the paperwork. That's why you fill out the paperwork for games like these. For moments like these. And I wish Bo Nix well. I, for one, out of uh, a lot of times out of immaturity as a sports head, a sports analyst, I was, you know, have been a little maybe even unfairly critical of Bo Nix. Guy superiorly talented. I don't take back anything that I said because at that time, that's how I genuinely felt. Um, I really think that Bo Nix could be in the beginning stages or midway stages of being the court kind of quarterback as to why we were so irritated with him at times. Maybe not warranted, but it's emotion with fans. You know, fans, um, and especially when, when uh, I began this channel, I mainly spoke on it from a fan's perspective. But now as I've gotten a little more analytical and can look at the totality of the circumstance, I can see some of the air in my ways, but I'm not taking it back because I meant every word I said. But I wish Bo Nix the best of luck because his success is highly dependent on the outcome of Auburn season. I don't care what y'all say. The quarterback touches the ball more than anybody else on offense. So for you to say that that's not a factor, I just casually disagree. I love you. I love you. I lo- Man, I love you like a, a step cousin. 
You know what I'm saying? I love you. I do. But I cannot let you all get away with that statement that Bo Nix won't be a factor. I think that's a bunch of bullshit. I love you, though. And you can eat me up in the comment section and I ain't going to say nothing. But you cannot get on here and say Bo Nix is not going to be a factor in the biggest game of the year. Two top 25 teams playing and you telling me the quarterback is not a factor. I just have some fundamental issues with that. But definitely enjoy the comments. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Like this video, guys. Comment and subscribe. We welcome all the Penn State We Are Nittany Lions to this channel for this week. Hate that it go only last a week, man. This has been fun. Comment and subscribe to the channel. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger War Eagle.